What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and we are back. So, after looking around, you know, I got back into the dream. Yarn and headstone. All the, uh, the yarn in places, right? This one, the frontier, is for Hemwick, Charnel Lane, and I'm sure a bunch of other shit. Where we just came from is the third headstone, which is Hypojingal, as you can see. And based on, like, progression, and the fact that this one isn't even unlocked yet... I feel like I shouldn't have even been there, you know? Because, I mean, if we're if we're looking at it, this is very reminiscent of Demon Souls. For those that don't play it or, or haven't played it, you know, there's a central hub, and then you have increasing tiers of difficulty on each side. So, you know, this would, would be where you start, then you move up to here, then you move up into there, which kind of begs the question, why the hell was I even pulled there in the first place? So, either way, we're jumping back to the Cathedral Ward. I plan on running back past the Cathedral, I'm going to kill the dickhead who drug me into that place. You know, thank you for bringing me there. I'm glad I have it unlocked. I I got my, my lantern. Um, and when I visit it again, then I'll worry about killing Pigman and all the other shit there. But for now, I need to explore a motherfucking cathedral. And on top of that, I need to kill that dickhead. So we're going to get that shit done. I've been trying to do it for like two episodes now. First, I got lost in the... Well, not lost, but, you know, I got sidetracked into the forest of riflemen. And then I got ripped off into the freaking jail cell. And it's like, damn it, I'm going to explore what I want to explore. And that's final. Alright. I got one poison knife left, which kind of sucks. Because there is going to be that dickhead I got to get through. The one that originally killed me and took me there. I mean, in theory, I shouldn't call him a dickhead, you know, because if it wasn't for him... I mean, effectively, he's a pretty nice guy, because he brought me there. I managed to get a lantern, and on top of that, two more levels out of the whole experience, so... Not that bad. But he's still a dickhead. He shouldn't have killed me. Non-consensual killing is not right. That's one of my triggers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. So we'll make our way over here. The hunters are already dead. I just gotta get past this guy. He should have, uh... Should have my stuff. My blood echoes. What's left after I leveled up. I actually ran by here. And he, uh, he killed me. So I was like, you son of a bitch. Coming back. I basically tried to counter. And he just, like, laughed in my face. And was like, no. No, you don't count. That's for you. I can't ever hit him. I can't. I mean, I, I managed to get the... the gun counter on one. I'm thinking what I do is I let the poison tick him down. Maybe I, uh... throw a Molotov into the mix to speed the process up a bit. Sup, bro? Are you all mad now? He hasn't gone rage mode. Yes, he has. Okay, so he's gonna charge. No! Fucking Christ! Fuck, 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 fuck. The poison is done ticking. I got one Molotov. Really don't want to use my only Molotov. Ow, why can you jump so far? Why do you hit so hard? God damn it. Fuck that guy. Oh boy. So I'm not sure, but I want to take a look up here. I think when we were down in that area and we found the one part that, you know, kind of looked like an escape. I think that actually would have brought us back out right here. Yeah. Look at Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is it. This is where the, uh, the one escape path was. But so where does this bring me down to?
Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. I remember you guys. No! No, no, no. All right, two executioner guys. Ah, uh, an upgrade beast. Ah, uh, hate fighting executioner things. Where does this go? happening. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Holy shit, so that's what happens when you get frenzied. Oh my god. What the fuck? Did you guys see that thing? The hell was that? Like, I saw the suction, and then I, you know, I ran back to see if it would trigger again. Giant fucking hand grabbed me? I mean, that's what happened before when I got hit with the frenzy. But getting a look at that thing, holy shit, that thing is fucking massive. How the fuck am I supposed to fight that? And where is that area? Where does that even go? There's <laughs> so many questions. Oh my god. Like, how would I get out of that area? Because that door was closed. That looked like the only door. There's a thing that makes the fucking ancient dragon look like somebody's pet lizard. Just reaches out and grabs me. Like, oh my god, man. Shit in this game is just fucking crazy. On top of that, it just one-shots me. It just grabs me and I die. Like, well, I don't know what I can do. Before I go back down there, because I don't know, um, you know, if progression is even possible down in that area, we're gonna sprint past you two. We're gonna see what's up here. Boss fight. Probably a boss fight. Hey lady, what's up? Oh, uh, sad? What the fuck? Oh god, no. Is this what happens when someone goes, turns into a beast? Hi! Yes, you look very friendly. Vicar Amelia. Wow, and you're fairly fucking large, too. Whoa! Alright, you do a big smash. That's, that's nice to know. Oh, um, I got one Molotov. You look like you would really dislike fire. And of course, I miss it. Because why would I ever actually hit the attacks? God, she's fucking huge! Whoa. 
I don't know where the, uh, if there is even a parry window on her. I'm afraid to try and parry these attacks, man. They're fucking massive. If I get hit, I'm fucked. Taking hits like this. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Vicar. I know your poor husband or something died and it makes you sad. Well, too bad. Because I intend to live. I'm not gonna go all beast like your ugly ass. Ow, my god, dude. Those attacks, there's just the fucking sweep on them is huge. I'm trying to like get in under her, like I did with the uh, the cleric beast, but like it looks like that's my only stagger chance with her. stamina just so I can get in get my four attacks and then get out I think I can beat this first try Nope. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I pissed her off. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Back up, back up. I'm so dead. Oh my god, I'm not! I'm not dead! I'm not fucking dead, lads! God damn it! I'm fucking dead, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! God fucking shit! Piss! Oh! Oh my god! I survived by a fucking hair. I started healing up, and she's like, Bitch, get the fuck down! And just, oh my god, that was so shitty. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So one of the things I'm going to be trying to do, obviously, is using the fire paper here. I might have already mentioned that, but basically I ended up cutting out a death. I, uh, you know, got up to the boss, popped the fire paper, was going along great. I hit her like four times and she was already down by 25%. And then I get a fucking, your DualShock 4 controller battery is going to die. Try to plug in my controller and get my ass whooped. So yeah, fucking fantastic. But either way, I know uh, fire, fire should work very well. Uh, part of me wants to actually put on lightning and see how effective that would be instead. Thank you for that, dickhead. My god, are you guys fucking for real? Could you fuck off, man? Oh my god. God, you guys are cogsuckers. So when I frenzy, I apparently just lose a fuck ton of health, it looks like. Let's take this baddie fucking down. Alright. 
she doesn't like fire. Come on, that was a clear dodge. Oh my god, now I'm just fucking up left and right. Bitch, keep it up. You're trying to heal? Oh. Alright, so listen, you get pissed off. I understand that. We all have bad days. Ow! Chinatown. Gotcha. And I'm counting that as my second attempt. Because going in and dying to a boss when your controller is about to die is not a fair fight. Alright, so is there anywhere to go from here? There is this. Whoa. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. That's the password. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. All right, guys, so either way, boss is down, the lamp is lit, and we got enough to get another level. So, um, moving forward from here, obviously, I do want to uh, go check out the rest of the down area with the giant thing that one-shot me, figure out what the hell is going on with that. Um, on top of that, I mean, we got the passwords, so we can go down into that area now as well, and then additionally... We have the, um, the second tombstone and the third tombstone areas. So there's a lot of places to go, and I'm not sure where to start. But um, you know, in the next episode, at least, we're going to go back down to where the two executioner guys were and try to investigate the room with the giant hand that one-shot me. So make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys then.